Well, this is part two of the uh, Black Sheep Ale Brew Day. I ended up getting what? 22 litres. Uh, so that's not bad. Uh, not a lot left in here. Quite hot, that. No, there's hardly any left in there. I've got most of it. Might have squeezed another bit, but I don't want the dregs. So yes, it's gone very well. Uh, I haven't added the yeast yet because the temperature is only 17 because uh, I chilled it really down quickly uh, so I'm just going to let it rise to about 18 and I'm going to pitch the yeast so it's gone very well that uh, uh, the gravity I got oh by the way this is the yeast that I'm going to put in Mangrove Jacks I don't know whether you can see it in focus Liberty Bell Ale I've used this a lot uh, and it's an excellent yeast. Uh, I'm going to put both packets in because the I don't know whether you can see that but the uh, no you probably can't but it's 1052 the gravity uh, I was aiming for what was I aiming for 1046 so I'm what six points over quite happy with that uh, yeah 1052 uh, so should be a nice beer that I hope so thanks for listening and watching uh, I'll get these pitched in both packets because it just say that um, if your beer is over 1050 you, uh, you're supposed to put two packs in even though I'm under 23 litres it, it's 1052 so I'm not risking it sake of a couple of pound I'm going to put both packs in it's worked well for me before uh, and just to end this video I did go on this morning about the uh, Kipling clone that I'd made it's uh, unfortunately I've never tried Kipling because I can't get hold of it anyway it's that popular a brew I must get hold of one one day uh, they sell uh, them supposedly in Waitrose and posh supermarkets, but I've never been able to find one. Anyway, I made a, a clone of it, adapted recipe from the internet. So let's have a look. It's about six weeks in the bottle, this. So I'll just have a little tasting. I don't know whether it's uh, I stirred it up. Let's get into the light. Oh, it's not bad. I'll just have a smell of it. Yes, it's very, very grapefruity. Um, the bottle, when you read about the bottle, the proper bottle, it says it's got uh, notes of tropical fruits, uh, predominantly grapefruit and kiwi. Now, as I said earlier, I don't get the kiwi so much, but by heck, I get the grapefruit. Let me just try it. Oh, and before I forget, this worked out at 5.3% alcohol by volume. And I think the proper bottle that you can uh, buy if you can find it is 5.2. So I went, wasn't far off. Let me have a drink. I'm drinking a bit early, but it's only for the purposes of the video, of course. It is turn 12 o'clock. And I did start at 10 past 7 this morning. All I can say is that is an excellent drink with strong uh, overtones of grapefruit. Oh yeah. Very dry aftertaste, which I like. Carbonation's gone okay there, I think. Uh, so although I'd like to try a proper bottle of Kipling, um, I can't get all of it. I will. I will try it one day. But this is probably the best beer I've ever made, um, and I will make it again, hopefully next week. But like I said earlier, I think I could improve it if I bought another pack of uh, Nelson Sauvignon hops, and maybe dry hopped it with say 50 gram after four days, up to me bottling it. But uh, I'm quite happy with that. I'll have to think of a name for it. Obviously it can't be Kipling because it's a clone and it'll never be exactly like theirs because I'm not using their yeast or their water. 
and they're probably different ingredients but I've adapted this anyway to off the internet and uh, scaled it down so yeah I can recommend that cheers mm. I better put that down before the whole glass disappears and uh, thanks for listening and watching and as I said earlier if you haven't uh, if you don't like this video just don't watch it again <laughs> but all the best to everybody thanks for listening and watching bye